Should I pop this? of our 50th live stream, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome back, you know him well, the one and only Mr. Rob Reich on the piano. Man of soul, and of course, joining us here, the one and only, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Yair Ebnin! Mm, we better heat this thing up quick, but you know to keep it hot and to keep it real. You've missed him ever so. The one and only, Mr. Aaron Kerbal! That's all you get, just a little teaser, folks. Can't that was so whole. exciting, Aaron. I had to take <laughs> off my wrap. <laughs> oh my goodness, and I thought about all of our shows here together and that the three of us have been here in the backyard through all kinds of weather, through hot, steamy days, 100 degree nights making cocktails to freezing nights like tonight. And to celebrate this evening, we, we should have a hot beverage, guys, we should, but I wanted to make my favorite cocktail. And my favorite cocktail is a French 75. And for those of you out there that also love this cocktail, please drop it in the comments section. We'd love to share this moment with you if you're out there and, and see who's joining us. Mr. Anderson's joining us on the Facebook. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Marissa Gregory is joining us. Thank you so much. And over here, Viva. David. Viva. Deja. Okay, we got it right. Hi, Dej. We're going to get started with this cocktail because we're also very, very thirsty, and I've got to fry my pineapple in a jiff. Now, this cocktail, ladies and gentlemen, in case you are wondering, uh, Kerbal, are you wondering what's in this? I'm wondering. Okay. 
Um, yes, and also, <laughs> before we get started on this cocktail, I did forget that we do have a surprise guest tonight who will be dancing for us. We're looking forward to introducing her shortly, but let's make this cocktail, which starts now. One little shot of your elderflower liqueur. It says three quarter ounce, but I believe in doing it, you know, just, just eyeballing it, guys. That's how I rock. And, oh, this one's gonna be very tangy. And, of course, it wouldn't be right without the gin, ginny gin. And two shots of the gin. This was my grandmother's favorite. Can't wait to try it out. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm gonna use that, I think. I'm gonna, go fi I'm gonna find it. We're all still alive here. <laughs> I didn't catch my hair on fire on the barbecue, Kerbal. <laughs> that could have happened, you know. The night is still young. Oh, goody. Okay, well, so shaken. Mm, that sounds nice. And then we're going to top it off with a bit of bubbly. short anybody because we have magical assistant oh it's looking good already and you know Aaron I, I did buy some special gin tonight did you oh yes uh, I don't know if you guys know but Snoop Dogg has making his own gin called Indago <laughs> We're going to try that one next. It's strawberry flavored, guys, so I just want to make one straight up, you know. And then we add the bubbly. Do you think Snoop Dogg had anything to do with that drink at all, other than just signing off on agreeing to do it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Snoop is a, he's a connoisseur of gin and juice? Yeah, he surprises you sometimes. He right? really does. Yeah. of our French, oh goodness, well, okay, well that one's looking good, and um, <laughs> <laughs> gotta get ready for the overflow, <laughs> and there's that. <laughs> We're just getting wild here, just pouring it all over the place. I'm gonna need some fancy little lemon wedges for the fellas. Speaking of lemon wedges, let's say hello to Daniel Fabricant, <gasps> Stephanie Schlieff, and Debbie ah! Sandrews. Oh my goodness, are you telling me my queen is watching? And Mr. D. Fab, we are missing you here tonight. You can tell, can you tell? I'm gonna top it off, baby. Gentlemen, he can do it with one hand. Did you see that? Oh, 
so fancy. One more to Mr. Magical Assistant. Boy, is he magical, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, cool. And I'm just saying oh. cheers to making it through all this time and finding a way to celebrate, finding a way to emanate some of the joy that we have and to be together against all the odds. Ladies and gentlemen, cheers. Cheers. Happy 50th mm -hmm. live stream. Wow, so many. So many, Kirby. Mm. Oh, that was my first time making that cocktail, and it is delicious. It doesn't taste like your first time. Why did that sound dirty? Um, <laughs> because this is a jaw show, and that's the way we go. And, um, you know, as far as first times go, I remember our first time. Do you? Oh, yeah. Tell me more. Well, we were just a couple of goofballs. Say more. Just hanging out in the kitchen. As we do. Just trying to get by. As they do. While we're getting high. My mom's watching. No, we didn't. And all the efforts to find the people that are your people in this world. I don't know how it happens, but if you somehow find a way to give your love out to everyone, they find a way to come to you. And it's true. Well, somehow I ended up with the best band imaginable. And we found ourselves in this situation where we need to bake a cake. And you wonder, what kind of cake are we baking tonight? Are you guys wondering? Oh, yes, Rob says, ladies and gentlemen, for tonight's celebration of the 50th show, we will be preparing a pineapple upside down cake. Oh my God! Say it again, Heather. I didn't hear you the first time I was yelling. Pineapple upside down cake. Oh, God. And we're going to be doing it in my iron skillet, ladies and gentlemen. Because I've discovered that when baking on the barbecue, which by the way is very difficult, Things torch up and they burn up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I discovered about baking on the barbecue is that an iron skillet is a perfect vessel <laughs> to be able to bake in. <laughs> Gentlemen, what do you think about that? Mm, yeah. <laughs> and I love how Rob, he, he communicates with me, you see, um, and tells me exactly how he feels um, through the keys. Now, we're going to go ahead and fry up some pineapple that I cut up earlier and punched out the inside with my little biscuit puncher. And, uh, you know, Aaron, we're going to need to put a lot of fat in the pan for this sucker to flip out. So I highly prescribe using extra coconut oil in your pan. Of course. What kind of coconut oil do you prefer, Heather? Oh, why, thank you. We are doing a promo. Should I put my promo voice on for this? Yeah, let's hear what you got. Oh, as my promo voice says. I personally love to use Nutiva. It's raw and it's extra virgin. Just like me. I couldn't even say it. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it's cold, so it's hard to get it out. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put... <laughs> I have missed you, Aaron. This is, <laughs> this is great. Um, so I... And I've missed Rob terribly. And one of the great things is when I get Rob and Yair together at the same time, it's just too much excitement. So I'm going to put this... Um, They're like bosom buddies. Yeah, they are like bosom buddies. <laughs> I mean... 
let's talk about it. So we're gonna put this pan on and let that get cooked up. And then, you know, Aaron, we're gonna have to hurry up because it's quite chilly up here. And I have to fry up my pineapple. One of the things I'm going to do is put some sugar in the pan. And you ask, wow, well, what kind of sugar will you be using tonight? Is it that GMO-free, BPA, ACASP, no gluten, no vegan, no meat, no, <laughs> just no, 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 sugar? Ah, <laughs> uh, when he says no, 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 Yair says yes, yes, yes. And I like the way you do that, baby. Uh, yeah. I'm using some kind of extra sweet kind of sugar. Now, I like the brown kind that's caramely and sweet. Just happens that it is also healthy. I'll sprinkle it on my pan. We'll see what happens. And then caramelized pineapple, baby. Here we come. You know, I've had the heat down, but I realize I'm gonna have to turn it on high because I'm freezing. I'm gonna have another beverage. Oh yeah, I feel warmer. Okay. The plan is, is to place the pineapple ever so. But it's taking so long for it to melt. So maybe I'll just bring my cake together here with my dry and my wet Kerbal. You know how we do with the dry to the wet. But are you mixing the wet to well, the dry it or looks the dry like to the wet? Dry to the wet or wet to the dry? These are the questions. Hmm. Should we try something weird tonight where we do the dry to the wet? Or do, no, no, we usually do dry to the wet. Should we do wet to the dry? Will that make it more moist? I don't know. This is science, guys, and science is the hippest thing of the day. We're talking 2021 science, baby. Oh, we're ready. We're ready. And it is so moist, but I feel like it still needs a little bit more extra. So I'm just going to put some of this butter in the pan on top of that. Oh, yeah, just a little bit of butter in the pan on top of that. And then I'm going to place my pineapple wedges. They just look so gorgeous. I'm gonna look for the ones that are really, really sugary, like, um, you know, almost overripe, and, um, and place them in there, because this is gonna be the top. Not the bottom curve, little top. That's what you're into? Top, not the bottom, top. Because we're gonna flip it out, you know. You like to flip it, right? We're flipping it. Some like to flip it on the top, that's okay. <laughs> but Heather just told us that she is the top, that's okay. Whoop! Not of us, not all of us are though. <laughs> Some of us prefer the lower half. Way down south. South Mount. That's right. dry bowl over here, fellas, that is mixed with the flour and the sugar and the leavening. And over here, I'll have room for my wet ingredients, which will be one half cup of butter or vegan butter or coconut oil, which mine is getting kind of solidified. I'm going to put it on the Barbie. 
Four eggs, fellas, four eggs. Now, you know, I like to get cracking on it. I just wonder, you guys, how do you feel about, um, you know, eggs, guys? You're vegan or not vegan? Not vegan. Not vegan? Oh, goody. So we're going to use eggs tonight. Not vegan. So, if you were vegan, you would just do four flax eggs. Or you could also do what my friend Marlo does, and you could shred some apples or shred some beets or shred some sort of very moist uh, fruit or vegetable in replace for these eggs, for the moisture, which would be so interesting and amazing. Can you believe that that's even possible, guys? Yes, yeah, shredded apple. Mm, I wish I had a whisk. That's the one thing I forgot, whisk. Oh, yeah, we need a whisk. <laughs> I try to think of everything when I get out here and it's time. I forgot something. Can you believe it? I was on time. I forgot my whisk tonight. One thing you need for sure is a whisk. And baby, let me tell you, that's right. God, that piano sounds good tonight. Now that I've got my tools. Hey, come on, we're not tools. <laughs> Those are beaten eggs. And two thirds cup milk, fellas. Two thirds cup milk. And I'm using not the moo tonight, Kirby. What are you using? Well, thank you for asking, because we could be doing promos and getting paid. Wouldn't you like to do product placement with me, guys? Yeah, sure. No car. Tonight we're using oat milk. Mm. I don't see a brand on here, so I can't really say. It's called Oatly. Oatly, <laughs> Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Rob can read, okay? He's, Rob's sponsored by them already. <laughs> Rob's like so he does spots for oat milk on his uh, <laughs> blog. Oatly. And you know what? This is the milk that we always use. So I hear the sizzling, sizzling sound of my pineapple just frying on up. And you know what that tells me? It's time to sizzle in some of our sugar, Kerbal. Oh, my God. Do it again. <laughs> I got so excited, I spilled a little. You know how that goes, Kirby, right? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> okay. There's always a little spillage. Just a little spillage. And so we have our dry and we have our wet. It's time to combine and put this cake mix on the grill so we can bring out our special guest tonight. And our Oatly in with our eggs. Oh, I forgot. That's really hot. Don't do what I did. That was really hot. Definitely don't do that. Should we be weird and like put some Indago gin in this thing? That could be cool. We could put the Indago gin in the cake. Wait, I don't know. Just an idea. Huh. Now we're putting the fat. Okay, here.
here's the big part, guys, because we're going to put it on the barbecue and everything's looking so delicious. And you wonder, wait a minute, a pineapple upside down cake has little cherries in the middle. Cherries aren't in season, but that's okay. I have some Luxardo maraschino cherries, just enough to do it right. Imported, imported directly from Italy? Imported directly from Italy, yes. For $22, you can get a jar. Oh, shit. I had a really good time at BevMo yesterday. I've never been to BevMo. Maybe I'm the last person to never go to BevMo, but I gotta say, BevMo's awesome. Can we like get a sponsorship from BevMo? I think we should work Hell on yeah. 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 Yeah, BevMo's a good idea. But I'm gonna put my dry to the wet. Just because I haven't done it in a while, and I think that it's a safe bet. Yes. I'm all about trying something new that maybe has never done and never been done before. So let's put the wet to the dry. Yeah, let's put the wet to the dry, Colonel. You know what I felt like I just heard? I feel like Rob was playing just now. I thought I heard a note of it. It, it seemed like he was touching on it, and I wasn't sure, but it felt like life is just a bowl of cherries. Is that what you're hey, playing? He did the whole song. Just a bowl of cherries. Don't take it serious. It's too mysterious. You work, you save, you worry so. But you can't take your dough when you go, go, go. You die. Life is just a bowl of cherries. The strongest dough must fall. The best things in life to you were just loaned. So how can you lose what you've never owned? Said life is just a bowl of cherry. So live and laugh at it all. It's almost time for something divine Cause there's a goddess in the garden tonight Now let me put this cake on First we have to put the cherries in the middle of our pineapple Ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna slip over Slip over to cherry our pineapple really quickly Pops Have you ever heard that? Cherries, cherry your yeah. pineapple? <laughs> cherry your pineapple <laughs> And then we are just about oh. to bake. Somebody already cherried their pineapple. Huh? Yeah. Well, it sounds like enchiladas. They're, they're still in the oven. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, looks like we should play some burlesque music because Rob is stripping down a uh, Yair. Can we get a some sort of sexy uh, burlesque music? No, I'm putting more stuff on. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was really good. That's a really Bay Area kind of uh, stripping. Oh, oh, I thought he was stripping down. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen a, a reverse? Uh, no, I have Speaking of stripping down naked, welcome Terry Edwards. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. That's my mom. <laughs> wow, way to play cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so. I want to show everybody, before we get started here, what it looks like as I bring this hot pan over to you and put the cake batter in the pan. Should I bring the pan right here? Or should I bring... Okay. Okay. Magical assistant says just do it. Yeah, 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 yeah.
like it's coming out, guys. It's chilly, but it's working out. I hope I didn't miss an ingredient. Yes, eggs, milk, gentlemen. Welcome back to our humble little stage. That's right, I'm going to move my own camera. Oh, don't touch it. Okay. Welcome back to our humble little stage. Here again, my dear, wonderful friend, here to dance for you, the one and only Miss Nicole Maria.
Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause from your homes for Miss Nicole Maria. Oh, and the moon was shining down for this blessing tonight. That was so beautiful. Oh, my face smiles sometimes. You smile so much it hurts. And this is an opportunity to say I want to give thanks to the wonderful friends and supporters who are out there who've been watching us and tuning in and sharing and letting everybody know what we're doing here. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is my absolute goal, and Kerbal's too, to create a space where we can be together and create something in a safe way. And Nicole Maria for her third time on the show such a blessing. I absolutely love music and dance and the love of food together. Is this a sensual show, guys? It's because I think we're show. covering all of these things. And also I think it's time for another cocktail. I don't know. We're we're just, you know, we're just looking at the barbecue and it's creeping up to 400 and that's, you know, that's a lot and I'm just going to turn it down a bit. Just turn it down a bit. You know, not too much. But Enough to, um, you know, make another cocktail. Hey, Heather. And, and, um, yes, we, we should just acknowledge that Mark Grounded and Terry Robinson both shared your show tonight. Thank you so much, guys. I really yeah. appreciate that. You know, we've been working hard on trying to do this, um, you know, trying to do this thing where we're having an honest moment and, and sharing something authentic. A lot of improv here. And uh, with these incredible professional Bay Area performers, what could go wrong? Yeah, I'm going to try this bottle. Let's try this bottle. And thank you to those two. And, and Aaron, do you know those fellas? I know Mark Grounin very well. He's oh, an excellent, excellent musician. Okay. He still lives in the Bay Area. So is this show, do you guys think that this show that we've created here is a show for performers and musicians? Uh, rhetorical, or you want an answer? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I guess I was thinking that, yeah. Yeah, I, I would love an answer. Thank you, Kirby. Hells yeah. <laughs> Look who you got here on the damn show tonight. Just a small sampling of what you're going to get any Sunday or Saturday night or whenever I had to decide to do the... Do the... Well, when I try to do it without Kerbal... Mm. Come on, don't say it. Okay, I'm trying. Should we use the indago this time? Let's do the indago this time. Okay, because the cake is baking and we have a song to sing, but I just want to say we're going to make one more cocktail and we're going to try some of Snoop's gin. Um, What's that, the indago? Oh, ain't nothing but the indago in me? Oh, okay, okay, magical. It says it ain't nothing but the dog in me. <laughs> Okay. Aaron, I think that that's for you to lead. Okay. Drops like, what? <laughs> like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh my god, he's got it! <laughs> I'm gone! I am so dead! Okay. Rob is really surprising. One, two, three, and to the four. Yair and Rob and Aaron are at your door. We're not taking no mess, so don't test us. Otherwise, we're gonna put you in a Lexus and send you out of town. We don't want you, we don't want you around unless you're gonna step to us. Compliments, cause we're so fragile. Wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I can't even get it open. Okay, there we go. It, it's hitting me, guys. This is the very first French 75 ever made live with Snoop's and Doggo. Thank you. 
is so chill. Oh my God, Kippy! Woo! Okay, Kippy, you're late but on time. Kippy, I had the best conversation with Kippy this morning, and he reminded me of everything. Yes. That was very vague. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to retrieve the glasses. I'm retrieving glasses. Sure, thanks. Did did you say uh, downward dog, Rob? You're will you're willing to do downward dog? Okay, I don't remember which one of these is mine now. That's a problem. Uh, no, no. Rob's a bottom. Uh, okay, which one? Is, which Rob's a bottom? Oh, I didn't think I guys heard. Okay, me. that's cute. <laughs> um, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this Yair's? Uh, no, mine. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, Yair and I share germs. So sh fine. <laughs> okay. This is the Indago, guys. This is serious, okay? This is like, this is where it's at. Um, and that's okay because I'm going to save uh, some of the Indago for, um, you know, for Rob because Rob is, is, is hip to it too. And he is ready to try some indago. Rob, are you ready to try the indago? Sure. No, okay. Wait a second, no, guys. No. I mean, this is just like. Oh. Oh. You can flip it. <laughs> you can pop it like it's hot, and you can drop it like it's hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, drop it like it's hot. You know what I'm saying? When the kids try to talk to you, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the kids try to talk to you, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. You. I was about to say something else, but it wasn't appropriate. That's right. When the kids try to come at you, top it like it's hot. Yeah. All right. Well, this one's per Oops. This one's Kirby. Uh -huh. Kippy Mark says, love me some Heather, Aaron, Yair, Robin, the man behind the scenes. Three hard emojis. Ooh, D. Jonesy, D. Jonesy, did I first. make this beverage right? Now you know this is one of my favorites. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, yeah, the strawberry is really... <laughs> The strawberry is really uh, giving it that extra little. <sighs> you know what I mean, Kirby? Yeah. Ooh, I'm chilly. <laughs> so, now that we find ourselves here together in this very intimate setting, in this very personal environment, I just thought maybe I would share some little personal details with y'all tonight, because it's 50, and why not? Tell us, Heather. We want to know. Tell us everything. Divulge. Okay, Give it up. that's just Tell us what we need to know. Ah. Well, I got really excited, and I forgot to turn my barbecue down, guys. Did you burn your bottom, Heather? Did you burn your bottom? Well, the thing about baking on the barbecue, guys, here's the big PSA. You gotta turn it up to turn it down. You gotta get it hot and set it right. This thing is an oven. You can't just take off and make a cocktail while it's on high. I think this thing could still be good. Really smoking on fire here, sort of like y'all. Well, 
It's crispy. I mean, it's crispy. Uh, but it's looking good. I, I think it's still good, guys. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty done. I mean, man, that thing is, ooh, baby. Now, you, you realize we're going to have to flip this thing. until I saw my cakes were on fire. My cakes are on fire, guys. <laughs> Might still be good, though. I'm looking at it, and I think, you ever get too excited? You get too excited, you get a little distracted. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely do that. Exactly, exactly what I wanted to say. And you know, Rob, thank you very much for enunciating the excitement of my burnt cake. Guys, <sighs> that's all right. In the real time of life, when things sort of work out, but maybe don't, that's why we have a real show in a real moment that's live. So you can experience, potentially, the ups and downs and the ins and outs, and maybe what's perfect and sort of not perfect. It's still going to taste good. But the way up to something positive, Kerbal. What do you think? We got Graham running around here doing stuff. I don't know. He's in the trees. Things are happening. When I see him walking in that background fixing things. fantastic my magical assistant is. So uh, I think I have a special song. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm never saying this live and I've never made a cake like this before so We'll sing, um, you know, thinking of Nicole Maria. Let's try uh, The Way You Look Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, switch it up, bro. <laughs> I mean, he was already playing it. I just couldn't really figure it out.
thinking, yes. Mm. Uh -oh. got something to say. He knew to play a blues song because he knew I was a little sad that it was burnt around the edges. So that's okay. It's all right. We're going to make it work. It's true. Soft pull. Ooh, that was a soft pull, Kerbal. I like a soft pull. <laughs> soft pull. I mean, you know, we do the hard pull and then we do the soft pull. <laughs> right. Um, both are okay. Is, is okay? it okay? Bo both are okay, I mean. I, I, I have, Fine. I have you have magical a soft pull, you know. The soft pull is okay as long and the hard pull is okay too? Yeah, it's just how you use it. Okay, okay. Brr, okay. I see. I mean, I have I a sponsorship too. Okay. Do do you also have a sponsor? I mean, I mean, are you sponsored? Yes. <laughs> 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 By magical assistant, it looks like. Um, I I am not sponsored, but I have a vocal mic now. Oh my goodness! Thank goodness. Okay, so this isn't this is not right, ladies and gentlemen, without a vocal mic for Yair because That's right. um, he's got things to say too. I do. No. Such as. Such as. Rob's the bottom. <laughs> <and I'm> <laughs> He's looking at you with the glare of death, dude. <laughs> First of all, Rob is like, I'm going to eat you guys for dinner later. Um, <laughs> he doesn't have a mic, so yeah. That's not right. And uh <laughs> 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 I'm going to make another cocktail. <laughs> Well, something's yeah, happening yeah, that's exciting. You know, I think it's the Indago. Personally, I think it's the Indago that's gotten us to this point where Magical Assistant is running around like fire and I'm burning the daylights out of my precious cake. Snoop, what in the heck did you do to us, dude? We're feeling lifted. Okay. And when we talk about top and bottom, Dude. before we get into greater detail, I want to say that I've been discussing the ins and outs 
of what has been going on during the pandemic in terms of the art culture. What? You have one of those? Ooh, I felt a crack. Sorry, Rob. I, I know that's your thing. But fiber slap? No? Mm. No, is that because, I mean, a uh, fight with it. Okay, things are going on. I don't even know what they are, but it's <laughs> exciting. Um, I yeah, Rob doesn't have his slide whistle tonight, so it's nice. It's nice that you did that because he could he couldn't do it, but he would usually. He would usually. Okay. Um, I got something to flip out, and I have a platter to do so. But before I flip this hot baby cake. I've got one more surprise, so let me check on our goddess tonight. Let me make sure that she's ready. lightning bolt on the back of his sweatshirt, and I like that. I wonder if she's ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready. Are you ready? And in the process of putting together 50 live streams since March 26th, Mr. Kerbal, Damn. I want to say I get inspired every time by the opportunity um, the thrill, the thrill is not gone. Like, the like thrill is not gone. Oh my right. gosh. Doing, doing oh right, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. These guys are having a convo here, know, and um, we're just adding up all the hours that yeah, we've spent here. How many, uh, how many days of your life have you spent doing this beautiful live stream? I've been doing it every week for 11 months. 50 shows. We hear about like eight hours, hours every time we come over here, so it's about <laughs> five and six, seven, eight, I And I think that eight Rob <laughs> has been here the most, uh, but Yair's creeping up. Rob Yair's here, creeping up. Aaron has. Aaron, well, of course, Aaron. I've away in the, <laughs> in, the all, in the trenches. Aaron, Aaron is my co-host, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, <laughs> she, that's the first time she's actually ever said co-host. Wow. She said a lot okay. of things, but she's never given me the... Okay. Word. Okay, so guys, <laughs> uh, ladies accident. and gentlemen, I'm going to pour a toast for you that are live with us here tonight. Whoever is still joining us as we wait for my burnt cake, and uh, Aaron Kerbel is yes. my co-host. Wow. Cheers. She just cemented it. I realize that we need to have some discussions, and as we're doing this live so that we can have some moments of honesty where we can talk about things that are real and we can have an honest moment amongst all of this glitter and sequins and shiny things and sugar and songs and amazing music um, everything is gorgeous but as I was talking about today on my very first panel discussion it was so weird guys it's on a panel it was like trippy and um what i learned about was yes i know she's ready was that um <laughs> <laughs> that um what the hell did i learn about oh that being honest and authentic is really what's important in these post-pandemic times um where we use our new forms of connection and share some kind of honest moments. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. Yeah. Danielle. I see you over there. And um, we're trying to give an honest moment of some creation that we're doing in real time to connect with everyone. And to show you that we are human and we are with you. And though we are professionals, ladies and gentlemen, we like to party. Uh, Aaron. And um, I just want to make sure that we can all feel the connection together in some way, though we can't be in live performance art. 
So without further ado, I bring to you the goddess tonight. Please put your hands together at home, wherever you are, for the one and only dear friend, Nicole Maria. <laughs> to clap a little bit extra. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Nicole Maria. I was clapping on the side because it was so exciting to see the moon behind her. And in a real world, ladies and gentlemen, we would be in a venue, we would be in a the club, and, and um, dollar bills would be flying everywhere. <laughs> I mean, we would be indoors, and um, Kippy Marks is going cray cray, <laughs> and we wouldn't have the moon above us, <laughs> and we wouldn't, my own, yeah, 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 without a love of my own, you said.
you standing alone. <laughs> but there's a cake in my barbecue, and I've got to flip it. Terrible ways for me to do that. It's so cute. Ah, okay. So um, I think it's time, Check guys. The Barbie. It's time. We're chilly. And Danny Cow is joining Danny us. Cow. Oh my God, on the Instagram, Danny Cow. Oh, we miss you here. We wish we were here. We're having a good time, and we wish you were here. Next time, please coordinate your schedule so that you can be here with your wife. Okay, that's lovely. And also, it's time, guys. I'm gonna check on our burnt barbecue. Perfect. And you know that mesquite flavor, Kerbal. That mesquite flavor is everything, okay? And when we're getting together with friends, as we get into the spring and the summer and everybody's getting together, you know what? Here's an idea, guys. Make your happening happen outside and bake on the barbecue. This is a thing. We're now an outdoor culture. It's an outdoor culture where we get together outdoors. There's no more indoors, guys, for a while. So we're just going to be outdoors, making things and challenging ourselves. What's up, Servi Anderson? <gasps> Who's now watching? Is Servi Anderson joining us tonight? Right, she is. OK, Erin, she's made our logo. Oh, no way. Yeah, she has. I want to show it, it to like? you later. It looks so cool. As your co-host, I demand uh, to see okay, it. Okay, thank you. It's in the mix. Um, it's not up yet, and um, it's really in the mix, and it's 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 really fantastic. And um, of all the people that have stepped up to be a part of this soulful and spiritual program. Yeah, I do need a spatula. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Servi Anderson has stepped up to be a part of this. She wanted to make something that would exemplify Ja and just add Heather. What we do here on the regular, you know, Kerbal. Oh, I got a spatula. Okay, so this has been sitting for a while, so it's super skeptical. It was ready to uh, flip out of the pan when we were hot, hot and ready. Oh, baby, this thing is, uh, it's, it's got a little chilled out. I'm gonna flip it, though. I'm gonna flip it, but I, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's, it's toasty. It's looking good. Uh, yeah, okay. I wanna make sure it flips, so I'm gonna heat it up a little bit. a good cocktail guys I couldn't even get through my you know, two I want three but <laughs> don't you always want the third cocktail but you know the second is the best you can do yeah. just a little PSA don't go for the third work it out with two Now, I'm gonna flip this baby. We got another song for you. No more Indago for me, that's what I gotta say. I mean, till later. Oh, it's a reggae jam all of a sudden. You ever heard a reggae jam end with a fill? <laughs> I mean, that was wild. Like, I was just starting, I was like, I recognized it and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, it's a reggae jam. <laughs> it was over. Song over. Oh my God, that was heavy. Uh, life is heavy. But in the midst of while you're in the heavy, don't take it serious. It's too mysterious. You work, you save, you worry so. You can't take the dough when you go, go, go. Well, you can flip it. Thank you. 
listen. No, I see what you're saying. Get underneath, babe. I understand. Get underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but yeah, you're, you're, you're harping on it. <laughs> okay, this cake is foolproof. It's foolproof, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and try to flip it tonight. Yair says he's lazy, and I don't believe that for five seconds. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no lazy. There's no lazy here. So let's just try to flip this thing and see if it works. Because it's time. Burn your bottom a little, Heather. Cole, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no, your fault. It's not me. I got excited. But, you know. <laughs> it's not me. I got excited. <laughs> How many times <laughs> I've said that? Uh, it wasn't me. <laughs> Crispy is good. Yeah. Crispy is nice. It's going to be good. baby and we can still sing it may be crispy on the outside but it's tender inside it still did the rise and it's caramelized let's go ahead and embrace that barbecue kind of taste yes it's a barbecue upside down cake coming to you ah. Ah. doesn't always work out but it's good Drinking and baking. Yeah, but I love it. No, I love it. That's good. You're still gonna eat that thing. Looking on the bright side and finding the deliciousness inside is what it matters. And, and um, you know, the sunny side of the street seems appropriate. Thank you, Rob. Oh, he's brilliant. magical assistant um, because I've had these Indago cocktails I'm going to need
need you to pull up the lyrics for the sunny side of the street. Yeah. Pull it up, sunny side of the street. Uh, I've had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun tonight. Being here with my friends that I love so much. Gosh, am I lucky. Thank you so much, Mr. Rob Reich and Yair Evnen and Mr. Aaron Kerbel for being with me through this journey of learning about the sunny side of the street. Those are very small. I think you're going to need to make them large. Grab your coat and your hat. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Yeah. Can you hear that pitter pat? That's your joy, in fact. And life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. Yeah. I used to walk in the shade. Solo extravaganza Kerbal. New floor, Tom, tonight. First drum solo on it.
Yes. Oh, thank you, fellas. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for helping me to say that life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. And it looks like I have a card. Oh my god, these are sentiments. Is this a card? Wait a second, what is this? Happy 50th? Isn't it nice when people tell us we look great? Oh, this is a good card. And when they did it for your age. Happy 50th, Josh. I love Gra. Ja and Graham. <laughs> Can't even talk. Thank you, and Doggo, uh. <laughs> aka Magical Assistant. <laughs> Thank you so much for that card. I couldn't actually who do it. Who, who wrote the card to, Heather? Oh, thank you, Aaron. Um, the card is from Magical Assistant. Oh. Yeah. And um, can we do this without Graham? You've never said that name on the show before. Everybody you named knows. Him. Everybody knows. You should bring Everybody him out in front knows. of the camera Everybody for the 50th knows. episode. No, he's oh. been out here like eight times tonight. Bring him out and have him no, say something. No, he's been out he so many want to times. Say okay, Kerbal says come out. I'm stop. the co-host. Look at, look at how you're you're spinning us like this. He's telling us, stop it. Ha no, come out, come out. Have a song and out. dance. Trot him out. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> come on. He made an appearance. Yes, that's right. Magical assistant. He's here tonight. You think I could do this by myself? Zero. Now it's nice that you gave me the card on the show and I want to let you know that we're going to do a curtain call. So, yeah, here's in the house warming up. Nicole Maria's over here. That's what's up. What's that? Oh, he comes back. Okay, good. I hope you ever feel the same kind of love. Seems like a time for a toast. So on our 50th, I want to give a big thanks to the people that made this happen. Yes, I see you back there. Of course I know. <laughs> to the folks who made this happen. Because if you have a dream in your heart and you want to make sure that you can convey it to everyone, takes a lot of work and dedication. And of course, you have to have friends. Special friends. Uh -oh. I mean, he said special friends, and, and Aaron was like, oh, 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 special friends. Come on, Heather. Okay. Uh, to the one and only who can create a absolute soundtrack for me on the fly. Who could do that? Who could make a soundtrack on the fly based on what I'm saying? There's only one person, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Rob Reich! That was so cute. That was so cute. Okay. <laughs> you guys, they've known each other for over 20 years, so that's very cute. Also, to my dream, who I have chased for over 15 years, who I have loved for a lifetime, <laughs> Mr. Yair Abnin! Oh. Oh. Oh, that's all he has to do. That's fine. He's, that's all he has to do. Okay, and Indago then really it's the Indago, guys. It's really kicking ass. There is no other. Uh. He wrecks me on a daily. Mm. I'm so not okay without him. 
<laughs> Mr. Aaron O'Kerbel! Aaron O'Kerbel? What am I, Irish? <laughs> no go. No go. It's almost St. Patrick's Day, and it's no better time to say thank you, Heather, for acknowledging my Irish roots. Should I do a river dance? <laughs> oh. Okay, no, let's stop it. Why do you want to wrap up the show? I want to do a river <laughs> dance. I've never river danced before. Is it a time? Okay, I'm going to river dance on our outro for our 50th. And as I do that, I'm going to hold our dessert of crispy, crispy barbecue goodness. Where it's soft and delicious on the inside. And crispy and caramel on the outside. Just like me. River dance. Okay, Nicole Marie is cracking up so much she has to leave the room. Okay, that's good. And also, <laughs> thank you so much for everyone who's been supporting us and been here to experience this amazing extravaganza of culinary cabaret. That's a really good phrase, Heather. What's that, Kirby? Culinary cabaret. I like yeah, that culinary cabaret. Yair coined it. Thank oh. you, Yair. And we're going to give it to Yair. Yeah. He gave it to us. <laughs> Until the next time. Is that right, guys? Thank you for joining us here tonight for our 50th live stream show of baking with music oh. and live entertainment. <laughs> and um, did I already do a curtain call? I think I did. It's so exciting. You introduced us three times. I did. 18,000 times. Show the love. Big love to Magical Assistant. Thank you for appreciating me and us in this wild and crazy life. We'll see you next time. And Kerbal better be here. <laughs> you better be here, Kerbal. See you guys next time. <laughs> I didn't mention we have enchiladas. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, enchiladas.